Hey guys, on today's video, we're going to be updating your iPad to the latest iPad OS. So let's get started. Go right into your settings. In your settings, if you have no more space to do a backup using iCloud, don't worry about it. Just use your computer to make that backup. It's important just in case something goes wrong, you do want to backup all of your information. Anyways, our second option should say software update available. However, if you don't see that, don't worry about it. Scroll down, look for general, go right into software update, and then you're going to see this. So the latest update should be popping up just like now, and it's only about a gig. Now, let's say you guys do have this option. If you tap on it, it's going to take us to the exact same place. It's just a shortcut. So let me just go back. If I tap on it, it's going to take us here. So that software update available is just a quick shortcut that takes you here. You should see downloading install. If you don't see download install, just install. That's okay. That means you downloaded the update already and it's ready to go. Now that does depend on your settings. Some of you may have to download the update right away, but not install it, which is a good thing. It's better to just turn off all automatic updates just in case you don't want to know what's going on with your iPad at all times. Anyways, right now we're just going to download and install. It's going to ask us a passcode if you have one. Once you put that in, it's just going to start downloading. Doesn't matter if your iPad turns off when it's downloading this update. No, it's no big deal at all. However, when it's installing the update, then it is. Then you might have to restore your iPad. And that's why we made that backup. Now, if you guys are having problems installing this or it's running too slow, maybe you don't see it. Yes, you could also hook up your iPad directly to your computer and just use your computer in order to update it. For example, on PC, you would use iTunes on Mac Finder. How long will this take? Well, it does depend on your internet speed. So for me right now, my internet is not the best because I'm doing a lot of stuff online at the moment. So it will take about those 10 minutes, just about. At this point in time, you could just leave your iPad hooked up some electricity. Even if you have 90% of your battery, I still recommend to hook it up and just let it be. It's going to install the software by itself. You're just going to see it turn off, Apple logo, loading bar, turn back on, and you're done. Just after a few minutes, we should see this preparing update. And then we're going to have the option to install it. All right. So at this point, we should see this install. Now we can just tap on install. Now it's going to verify the update up next. We're going to see an Apple logo, a loading bar. It's going to restart. And that would be it for the update. We're just going to see it asking us for a passcode to get into our iPad. If you have a passcode. So as mentioned, we would see an Apple logo in the loading bar. The first one's going to go pretty fast. And the second one's going to go even faster. So this is the second one. And then we're going to be officially be done with the update. After just a minute or two, you will see this, that your iPad's up to date. Just log into it. And once you log in, you're going to see that you're all done. We can go right into our settings and check out if everything went okay. Right here, it should tell us that we are officially up to date. So yes, we are all up to date. And that would be it for this video. Anyways, if you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write them.